Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Throne Room Tuesday where basically I ask, um, I solicit you to pray for me for some thing. And so basically today that the thing that I'm soliciting your prayer for is to help me to do the things that are on my schedule for me to do. And also whatever it is that comes up to do that too. All right, so my name is Sheila Rollins, and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc., and on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. We do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power, and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our cleanliness, our completeness, our consecration, our redemption, our holiness, those things that we thought were impossible our wholeness becomes possible in Jesus Christ. So basically, all we need to do is we use the tools that he, he's given us. Give forgiveness when we sin. Use the grace and the mercy to practice to do things the way he wants us to do. Read his word so we can know what we're supposed to do. And being that he directed me to King James, then King James is the only thing that I can basically encourage. So read the word. Follow his precepts, including the Ten Commandments, and also where it talks about remembering the seventh day Sabbath. And I say that because we know not to kill, not to steal, and all that. But for the most part, a lot of us does not acknowledge the fourth commandment where God admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. So, okay. Um, if you haven't already become a part of our YouTube family, it's totally free. See the word subscribe, touch the bell, will come up, touch the bell, and then you see the word all, hit all, and that way you're saying that you want all your, your notifications turned on so that you can get all of my new uploads. For here on out, you'll get a notification when I do a new video, which is every day on this channel, but my other YouTube, The Pursuit of Christ, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I do about 10 videos a week. So, okay, so... I mean, basically, the reason why this topic is important to me is that while I do have somewhat of a schedule, and I say somewhat because it includes pretty much my daily routine. It doesn't include the extra stuff like um, when I need to dust, when I need to wash the windows, when I need to um, sort out my clothes and maybe get rid of some clothes you know, throw out some, give out, give away some, whatever. It doesn't include those things or even like when to cut the grass in the backyard. So um, I need to work those things too into the schedule um, because they are, you know, they are things that I need to do. Well, even though I have somewhat of a schedule, for the most part, I don't do it. I do a little bit of it, like every day, and this is a good thing, every day for the most part, I get up in the morning, not for the most part, I do, every day I get up and I have my prayer time and my worship time with God in the morning. And normally for the most part in the evening, I read like one chapter in the evening um, of the Old Testament, you know, in the evening, so I don't know where I am right now. I think I may be, I think I'm in Job right now, but I read one chapter in the evening and that right there is kind of consistent. And that's pretty good because for even when I was raising my children, we never did evening worship. We just had prayer, you know? So I am doing evening worship and I'm gotten pretty consistent. Uh, another thing that's consistent is me walking. Um, I use that, to be honest, I use it like an escape sometimes when I don't feel like lifting the weights and doing all the exercise that I used to do, um, you know, in the day. And the other thing about that's giving me a little bit of trouble is like whether to lift my weights the same day that I walk or do it every other day. So I haven't worked that out yet, but it kind of looks like doing to them together and like every other day and then using the other time like you know to get things more things done around the house and stuff because the exercise takes time so you know you figure that um lifting my weights and stuff that takes about maybe an hour 
you know, to do my stomach exercise, my arms, my legs, you know, and all, of, all those exercises and stuff. It takes about an hour. And then when I go out to walk, um, it takes about, the walking probably takes about, let me say, about two hours, about two hours, two, two and a half hours. And so, um, so that, you know, after that time, I usually come in and shower and take a nap because for the most part, I get up when I'm, when I get up, like I'm supposed to, I get up about four and I used to get up at five and I felt like that wasn't enough time. So I started setting my clock for me to get up at four. Lately, I've been kind of tired and I think it was because, you know, not too long ago, the conference president and his wife, they had a house fire. The house blew up and they died as a result of the fire. Now, this week I had another friend in Ohio whose house um, blew up. Morton Rose, their house blew up. Um, he died. She's still alive. And I think that my heart was just like a little bit sad this week dealing with that. Even though I did have the joy of my youngest daughter accepting Christ as her personal savior, getting anointed and started her journey with God. And that was joyful. That was the one, if you haven't seen her sing on Facebook, um, check that out. Um, yeah, so it's my name. And then I say, listen to my baby. So check that out. It's my youngest daughter. So, you know, that was like very, very rejoicing and basically like how the Lord is kind of leading me and guiding me, you know, to do some things or to get some things that I need and stuff, you know, just show me where they are. And so, you know, I've had some joy too, but I've been like, just kind of sad. And it's like, I think I might be like needing a little bit more to, I guess, maybe get the estrogen running in me. Um, to not do the drudgery of the, the everyday mundane, mundane routine. That may be what's wrong with me. But anyhow, I'm not just talking about under, I'm talking about praying for me under normal circumstances to get it done. Now, I think that when we have situations like an emergency um, a death that we mourn and stuff like that. It may be kind of normal to stray a little bit from the schedule. Okay. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about my regular routine is what I want to have prayer for so I can get those things done. Because for the most part, I have been a very undisciplined person. And basically when I was younger, uh, I got a lot of attention for it. You know, and but now that I'm older, like the Bible says that when we become of age, that we are to put away childish things, you know, since our God is orderly, you know, um, I believe that when God created this world, it's like on the first day he did this, the evening and morning was the first day, even in morning was the second day, he did certain things on each day, you know, so it's like it's expected of us for those six days before the Sabbath. The six days that we are to carry out a schedule of getting things done. And like I said, I just felt like, you know, like going shopping. And even though I'm not really spending no money, not really, you know what I mean? Um, it just kind of feels good to like to buy myself a little something, get something for the house, you know, somebody's birthday or something like my grandson had a birthday, um, my grand Gotti, which is my godson's, um, my godson's son, I call him my grand Gotti. Um, you know, he's having a birthday on the 2nd of, of September, you know, just going out and shopping a little bit, you know, it's like, it's giving me like some joy. And I think, like I said, I, I do have to add in that the sadness from, you know, my friend's house is blowing up and the deaths and all that kind of stuff, you know, so just pray for me because, um, I love it when, when I do it and I do try to stay on top of stuff. So like, even right now, it's like, I force myself to do stuff, even though I don't feel like, it. you know, it's just that I just want to rest, you know, like 
because I'm on a bus, when I get in the house, um, I like to, you know, take a bath, like right away from being on a bus and stuff. You know, it's public transportation, you know, uh, roaches and uh, scabies or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it forces me, you know, to, um, to take a bath a lot, um, you know, when I go out and come back in, you know, so probably if I didn't have that, I wouldn't take a bath so much. And I say so much because it's like, like two or three times a day, I'm taking a bath. Like if I go to the market or whatever, you know, I come in, I take a bath, you know, I get on a bus, I come in, I take a bath in the morning. When I first get, I take a bath at night in the morning. When I first get up, you know, um, you know, if I took a bath that evening or whatever, then, you know, I may take a quick shower or a quick wash off or whatever. I'm bathing a lot. And I thank God for that. I don't feel depressed or anything like that. I just feel like what I feel is just a grief. I just feel like what I feel is normal. I like to normalize that. It, it, that is normal. But like I said, it's not the grief times or it's not those are not the times that I'm praying for. And I, I need prayer for them, too. But I'm just really praying for the daily, for to be able to get my daily scheduling done, you know, um, and include some kind of way to extra stuff like cutting the grass and washing the clothes and clearing out my closet and dusting and stuff. I, I routinely mop. That's not a problem for me. I routinely do that. So, but just pray for me that I can, you know, run my schedule. And if you have any problems, you know, running your schedule, getting things done, comment down below and let me know. We'll pray for each other. So, okay. So that's all I have for you. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube. And remember to check out my other YouTube, um, the food, it's all fundraisers, vegan, meat alternative size, non-dairy ice cream and other desserts, it's dishes, delicious, finger licking good, you know, check it out, everything's just about $7, platters twelve fifty. unless you're getting a bigger portion, then it's more than that, so anyhow, hit me up, the arrow description, it has my contact information there, um, you know, so, See you in the next YouTube. Remember to share everywhere and don't forget to subscribe yourself. All right. Um, I'll see you in the next YouTube.